Well, hello there. I am live once again. And once again doing Central Europe. But there might be, there's just, you might notice a little change this time around. As, uh, so, 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 something may have changed a little. But, uh, it's just, it's just a small change, you know, not, nothing, uh, serious. But yeah. Hello, Shardice. Hello, Kengo. <laughs> I was expecting you. So. Yeah, how are you today? I'm doing all right. What about you guys? Been a long time <laughs> from yesterday. <laughs> Did you replace the track? Yes. No. Replace the game. <laughs> Anyways. Um, today I'm gonna be focusing more on... Well, focusing more. I've pretty much finished the layout of the station. From north to south and it's about time to focus on the line heading south from here now the, over the previous streams we have um, pretty much established that the distance we would like to cover is roughly 10 kilometers but 10 kilometers in as the crow flies so it, direct route so the track itself could be longer than that thing is I need to still determine which direction to go I've also determined uh, the heights of the towns that we need to be at and uh, unfortunately I forgot the height that we want to get to so let me just quickly uh, google that again and I'm just gonna also uh, do this okay so 34 meters we believe we are I'm, I am on 41 okay so from 41 to 34 okay That's 7 meters per 10 kilometers. Ugh. Anyone have a calculator for this? Because I, I can't. Hold on. My, my mouse today just sucks. So I'm just going to do this. Calculator.net. Thank you for helping me. I hope that... We will, yeah, we can be to get the angle of incline in degrees. I hope that's minus degrees. Oh, that's gonna be different. Okay, fuck that. <laughs> that's gonna be hard to convert into percents. Ugh, I can't be bothered to do that kind of ma math now. So, anyways, um, let's go on this differently. Let's just say that, okay, so 10 kilometers, 7 meters. 10 divided by 7 is what? We need to go 1.5 meters per kilometer. A kilometer is 1000 meters. We need to do 1.5 meters. So that means... A person is... I believe 1 person gradient is 1 meter per 100 meters. So we... Need to do... 0.15% I think I think if we average 0.15% gradient we will be able to do the height change we want to now that's as the crow fly so obviously we is actually gonna have to be lower because our tracks are going to turn and twist and bump and shit and they're not going to shit <laughs> anyways um So we pretty much have, yeah, there's gonna be the bridge over here. 
Let's actually put that in as a little landmark. It's gonna help us out in the long run. So do this. Them. And because of the little changes that I have, I might not be able to find what I'm looking for. Or I will. Okay, never mind. I did find it. Let's go. Fuck you. Don't do that. There we go. So, um... Let's just say that the, our landmark is gonna be around here. So that, that's gonna be the bridge. It's not exactly the one that we have on... Uh, the map. It's On the map is a... Uh, Truss bridge, we can see the side thing is there. But as a temporary uh, addition, it will work. Question is, how long is it? Because it's like one thing that I would really like to actually get. Correct. Uh, it starts roughly there, and I have no idea where it ends. I'm just gonna say that it's 55 meters long. Just for the sake of um, easiness, let's drag it from there. From there, 55 meters. Okay. Like that. <coughs> Let's uh, read the chat a little, because <laughs> you placed a check, I said. No, hello VGR, welcome. Well, I was placing rocks on DMVR. Oh, I would not have thought you would backport to Tain. Interesting choice. <laughs> Good to hear, thanks. I'm alright too, I've been working on even more on paper to correct the concept art for Project for Oh, nice. There are a lot of cliffs that it look better. <laughs> Cliff here? Nice. Mugu gaps. To the rescue. As the crow flies, as the eagle flies. I'm sorry, but yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think you confused the last part with the seagulls from yesterday. Yeah, you reckon? <laughs> Anyways, okay, so 55 meters down out that way. But the tracks turn a little? Oh, a minute. Do you turn? Oh, shit, they do. Just a little. Like, very little. But they do. Okay. It's like they shift kind of to the side. We're closer to the road. There's also a station, a small stop, and a bus stop there. So I'm gonna see what I can do with that. But what we have also got here is the fact that okay, I cannot do the placeholder bridge. I actually have to find the asset like right now if I want to continue. Which is going to be absolutely horrendous. Um, I was hoping that maybe I could find something like that. Unfortunately, not. So, um, only it wasn't that big. Okay. If only this was the other way around. Hmm, that's not gonna work.
I need the look of that one. Because we still miss the side thingies. Oh god, that's very fucked. Pass. Okay. What was the other set? TSM? Or smooth container terminal. Ah, how nice. And the tower. How nicer. Uh... Getting distracted. What the? Okay. Um, bridge, 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 bridge. Is that a tunnel? Oh, that's a flyover. Interesting. Anyways, bridge. I'm starting to like where I'm getting. Not the Santa. Okay, that didn't work. Um, maybe I'll find something in the Russian sets of objects. See, this could kind of do. But the problem is, this one is fully covered. What I'm looking for is not fully covered. That's something completely else. Definitely a trust bridge, but my question is, I would I would rather find like an object without tracks that I could just plop out. Okay. That one looks very nice. Unfortunately, it's fully covered, but it's an option as well. Doesn't have to be hunt one like one to one, but I would still give it a try to just uh, find. See, this is kind of this is kind of the thing I want. It's this pony truss. Let's just search for truss itself. Maybe just maybe I'll find something that could be useful. These are nice and all, but they're once again fully covered. Mm. Maybe you guys know how to search for maybe something precise like that? Oh, the only goes fly in circles mostly. Only if you circle the prey. Uh, so yeah. Hmm, I suppose so. That's actually quite a valid point, although crows usually don't fly in a complete circle either, don't they? Do they? But yeah. Never knew those possible assets existed. Hmm. Hello, Albus. Sure, welcome. I do miss building in time with all those 2D assets and old lightning engine. That power is perfect for the crowd. Bridge, bridge, Santa, family road trip coming 1986. <laughs> Try looking for the bridge in the track tab. There might be a bridge next to the one called Fishbow. Maybe there are side bits of a trust bridge placed above the suppressed planes, not sure. Could be as well. But yeah, I'm still gonna just quickly search through here. Because essentially, if I just manage to find a bridge that I can just plop in and just forget about it, that's like the easiest thing ever. The fuck? 
Okay. Sure, dude. That's a bridge. Oh. Oh shit, this might work. Hold on. FMA? Holy shit. But hold on. Oh no, that's big and close. That's also big and close. <gasps> this one is small and open. See, this one might work. This one kind of also fits with the size. Oh yeah, this one will be nice. I think I think I found the one. What is this? Two seven seven rotation. Yeah, the thing is, they're obviously not the. far apart but at the same time just like this connect it there let's take you if I line this up correctly might just be able to kind of hide it, yes. And then just raise this one by like five centimeters. Yeah, that works. Yeah, that's pretty. Pretty damn good. Now I just need to. Uh... Oh, it's this other one. It's that track. Thing is, obviously, need. To, uh... Oh shit, yeah, that's right, because this is now five centimeters higher. Uh, okay, so the intercept a little like that. No. It needs to be like this. It needs to be straight. Yeah, something like that. Okay, yeah, that, that's good. That works. User disco ball. Interesting. Hopefully that doesn't display in driver. Probably. No idea. We all know there's no such thing as quick search through this in trains. Um, there is. You just need to uh, rapidly mash the up arrow. Or down arrow. <laughs> no such true. Steam title. Congress on finding the bridge. Now can we finally move on to placing bushes? <laughs> no. Chairman's in the sun switch us into one. Yep. Good call. I'm not sure if the distance between checks will still be large enough. Uh, well. There isn't really the side. Actually, well, there are the sides to... Um, the bridge on in the real life as well, but they are inside of the of this part rather than outside of it. I mean, technically speaking, I could still bring these closer together because that's what it does in real life as well. Uh, so yeah, let's see how would that work? Because I don't want the fences to clip too much, you know. I swear to God, this is so hard to line up. Just nice and easy. Okay, okay. Now you. It's nice and easy to be straight, okay? Like that. Good, good. Let's go back. 
So, we've got that line up. I guess this looks better to real life. Because there is a gap between them a little bit. But there's only uh, so much that I can do without uh, this clipping in too much. Actually, let me just quickly check. How... How well would that... Okay, yeah, that, that, that works. <laughs> yeah, that's good. On that side. Yeah, I like that. Uh, I wanna try... Engine as well. Oh yeah, that fits. Okay. So now that we have confirmation that this is good... We can finally move on to the main line. <laughs> Alright, oh yeah, the fences. Wait, this is just a little... Maybe? Nope, this is, this is an optical illusion. <laughs> Jokes on you, I happen to be immune to this today. <laughs> Okay, all right then. You heard him. He's immune. Anyways, um, so from the edge of the bridge, actually, from the edge of that, the bridge continues on a little. Uh, the thing is. I mean, should it like straighten out or like how should I go about this? I'm gonna half the distances of this, I think. Okay, so this is 1088 meters of straight track, technically speaking. Thing is, it's not exactly straight, so let's see here. What is it? 174. So, 1088 meters if we uh, go into that, how, let's say like something like 540 is good enough, I guess. 540 meters at 174. Something like this. Okay. No. That's gonna be the bottom turn. And from there on out we just go rather more fictional. So now the thing is, I want this turn to kind of feel like it does in real life. And that it's not exactly very nice, just like kind of wobbles. I think that's, that works out over here, yes. And now I just align this one next to, uh, next to that. Okay, I'm not gonna be measuring out every single thing over here that uh, got here, you know, all the turns and stuff, that's not gonna happen. But, what I wanna do is measure out from the end of the bridge because mm, it does quite a deviation here so which station do I want to include okay let's just say that I'm gonna go here to this station. I'm gonna plop it right at the crossing. That's 3.86. So 
So 3,860 meters plus minus. In like roughly this ish heading. Was at 133. So 3 kilometers at 133 from this point. Three, three, uh, three thousand eight hundred is what we need, so sixty. Literally just outside of this belly baseboard, but the heading is correct. So, how does the track go? Crosses the line, it touches the line once, okay, interesting, and crosses it once, basically. <laughs> okay, and from this, let's try, um, let's find ourselves a magical way of figuring what the fuck to do with this. <laughs> Obviously, I'm gonna need this space up here for the track. There's that as well, and that as well. But I'm gonna also need this. Yeah, just in case. So, we go down, we turn, we turn back in, we touch that the 180 and then come back in again cross over then do a bias zoop zoop into that like something somewhere here and then from that we need to turn back here. And then the track through the station goes at 159. So it's gonna be our two destination angles. So 159 is the direction the tracks will have to go at this place. So let's mark that. Now then. From this turn, let's do an average decline of 0 0.1. At least try to. Uh, what if Eco Solutions just so happens to be immune to your immunity? <laughs> Honestly, I have no idea. Also, that I think was in question. You couldn't be tight. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for not mentioning everything, Eagle. That means my truck won't have to pull over at the next way station, right? Right? <laughs> Block post closed. Only trucks with no lumber are allowed to pass. Where did I use of the base for some rent for you? What do you mean? They are. You just can't see them properly because of the sun. Because of the lighting I have set up here. But the, 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 the edges are there. Yeah, rendering, but they were just lit very brightly on the side. Yep. Rending? You... <laughs> Rendering. <laughs> Never knew. Oh, I saw it wrong. All good. Yeah, it's, it's good. Right, so from here, let's just go an average decline of 0 0.1 then. That's a gradient, right? Yes, okay. Minus 0 0.1. Let's just do it like this. And then later on, I can just change it to be a bit more fitting to what I would need. 
Anyway, so let's firstly sketch out the track a little bit. So I know what I want to do. Actually, let's bring it down to zero. Now that turn here is going to be kind of skewed for me at the beginning, but I can remedy that later. So I, after we have that... Okay, so this turn obviously needs to be longer. Let's make it a bit like this. And we can cross over the line a bit, I think we do anyways. Yep, just like that. Kinda. Yeah, that works out. Am I good, I guess? So we get that. Over here we need to turn to the other side again. And then cross the line on a straight piece of track. Something like this. Put a spline point in the middle. To make it turn a bit better. And now here we do a bit of a smaller turn like that. And then we do a bigger loop there. But this is not long enough. Let's do it like that. Put a turn there. Okay. From here, we have a longer turn going down this way. And then into there. Aha! Now let's fix up the positions. A little bit so that our turn is better to navigate through and use the F9 view the grid view to uh, see the tracks better sticking out like along the white background like this quite a nice cheat to use <laughs> but yeah so we've got that turn I don't like the glitchiness that they've introduced in 22 in the fucking now in the distance. Is this a chance I need to... Yeah, it's, you can kind of see just like the black lines blur there. I don't like that. It's very uh, distracting and fucky with my eyes, but... It's unfortunate. It's what it's. So yeah, we want this to be a bit sharper. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. yes. Okay, now this turn over here, but before I align that, before I fix up that turn, let me just do this. Now the biggest problem of building tracks through hills like this is the fact that you need to keep the gradient, all the terrain and stuff, you know, you need to keep it in mind, you need to try and uh, uh, always line it up, you know, it's like... Yeah, you can do the entire tracks down, but honestly, before you can do anything else, you need to bring in the terrain. So, me mapping out the track here is pretty much just like nothing compared to what I have to do to the terrain here. Because obviously, I cannot just be, you know, a lazy creator and just uh, align everything to the fucking track height. You know, just fuck that. I will be using that tool, but not yet and not like this, because the way to do this is pretty much 
figuring out where there should be an embankment and where there should be a cutout. Where the track clips out or in of the hill. Or where the cliffs that the tracks created could be hidden by the trees as well. So this is the kind of stuff that you need like the cab rides for where the maps don't really uh, provide the kind of useful information that you are looking for. But what I'm gonna do firstly is that before actually I actually try to align the terrain properly to the tracks, I'm gonna do a sketch of the terrain a little. Uh, so basically just bring up the hills where they should be you know, make the valley where it should be, the river. And then, from that, I can start aligning the terrain better to the tracks, bringing it to its best position. So let's check this out. Tracks are looking good. Layout is looking good. Okay, so that's good. Now obviously, um, let me put in the gradient as well. Now I'm going to try to vary it a little bit as I go through. In some places it's going to go down a bit steeper, in some places it's not going to go down at all, some places it's going to be just mild, some places are going to vary a little bit, you know, but the overall goal is to kind of average to 0 Here's the station. I'm gonna actually keep that flat. It's gonna come in handy later. But you can already see we are at 38 meters. We need to go down to, I believe it was 34? Yes, 34. So, yeah, we've already gone down. Uh, how much? We were at 41. So, yeah, we've gone down fucking 3 meters already. Why the fuck am I aligning like this? Am I stupid? The fuck is wrong? I need to grab the height of one track, apply it to the other. Take the height of one track, apply it to the other. One track, other track. One track. Other track. One track. Other track. I mean, hey, if, if it comes to it, I might as well just make an uphill where it's not really supposed to be an uphill. But I would like to prevent doing that. Because, so, obvious reasons. But at the same time, the gradients that I've put here already are going to create slight uphills anyways. So it's not really going to matter that much in the end. But yeah, it's pretty much just orientatively. Or just preventatively, or I don't know how to say it. Like what the correct word would be. Basically just to make sure. Preventative measures of doing proper terrain and gradients. So I'm gonna line this down like this with this with the smooth uh, not smoothening tool, the plateau tool. Because I find that's like the best smoothening tool ever, actually. And so let me just... Uh... Just 
when you have this, it's pretty much going to be a lot easier to try and make heals, because you don't have to worry about the very steep uh, gradient that you have here transferring up. See, if I try to make a heal here, you see, it does that. You know, there's that thing, and trying to flatten it out when you have a heal is uh, not really nice to do, because it fucks up your entire heal that you just built. So what you want to do is firstly flatten it out, and then, bada bim bada boom, you have a beautiful little hill already. Now you can of course prevent doing this later if you do it from the start. What I mean is that uh, when you are raising the terrain, if you're doing your terrain manually on the entire length of the route and you all uh, don't want to really like spend the time aligning everything every single time and blah 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 blah, what you can just do when you add, when you are aligning the terrain up is just don't go like this to the edge, but keep it like this. No, a little bit further away from the edge because what does what this does as opposed to this is that in order to flatten this you need to firstly get to the full height and then you can actually like bring it up and you know you, you, you need to flatten it out like this but if you do it like this it already gives you the kind of like advantage of not having to go all the way up so you're gonna make it easier for yourself to align the terrain like that. There we go. So yeah, so, yeah that's a small little trick you can use. Oh, well, of course, unless you're one of the troglodytes who make their routes completely flat for no reason, even in mountain areas. Then you don't need to worry about anything of this, because of... yeah. You're not doing a good job anyways. So. First things first. Is. Kind of want to bring the terrain below the tracks. You know. I want to have. The terrain just kind of below the tracks. But not really above them. But even if it goes above. At this point. At this stage. It's not really an issue. So the thing here is now, um, I don't really have a good idea of what the terrain over here uh, looks like, like this, uh, the mountain and stuff. So let me just go into this view, so I can kind of get an idea of what I'm working with. Okay, so the tracks pretty much just go along the mountain hill, mountain side. Of the hill or the hillside. Over here, it kind of flattens out, and then it's a steeper angle again. I want to move the camera. Let me move the camera. I don't want to rotate it. Move. Okay, I guess I have to use the arrow keys. Oh, there we go. Okay, so here it's kind of like steeper. Okay, that's a field there. It's completely flat. So okay. So, I'm going to keep this kind of look. Obviously, so, I would have to look at it like this in the, real, in the game to see it kind of from the map. I'm seeing it. But, okay, so here we're going to have the hillside go all the way up. Here it's going to flatten out a bit. And then over here it's just going to be a steep, steep hillside till the end there. It's kind of out of scale, but that doesn't really matter. So now, since um, our tracks are going to be on the side of the hill that we want to uh, create over here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to extend this flatter part out a bit. 
just a little. Flatten it out a bit more to make it nicer and easier to build the hills off of. But also let me read the chat because um I'm assuming this will be all like electrified. Yes. You know, so yes, you. <laughs> yeah. How did they fix that grid issue in previous trains versions? Hmm. No idea. Well, I know about gradients in hilly terrain. Manually chugging every ver terrain <laughs> vertex to the tracks and using splines. So many splines. Ah. <laughs> uh, imagine that if trains allowed you to create your own spline groups, a spline group editor where you can add. And line up tracks and cut any splines, for example, and then place that spline group down like you would a single spline. You, you know that's possible, right? Also, slow giggle. I may build a small off-stream extension to MVR. It's almost 100 kilometers. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Well, you build most of it. What? <laughs> Why did I hear a girl moaning? What? The fuck is... Uh, sorry, when did uh, Central Europe team invade the chat without it being here? Bear in mind that the grades will be different for the inner and outer tracks. Yes. That's why I'm basically just applying the gradient to one track. And then just taking the individual height of all the vertexes and applying it to the other track. Not being inside or nothing. You need to set the vertex height. Yep. Introducing vertex. The new voxel based terrain generator system. If you're struggling with the hill, I'm not. Oh, her point. Interesting. Never knew these guys build trains routes. The shameless advertising. It's possible. I mean, if you create a new spline asset in the quantum engine. Uh, hold on. There. Though it is categorized as a bridge, or well, fixed track, it's basically a spline that you can use to um, align your tracks. It's a nice little tool that you can use. Actually, hold on, what's this aligned to? That's the exact same alignment that I'm using. Hmm. No. <laughs> Same principle. Basically, yeah, it's a bridge with tracks attached on it. Fixed tracks, so to say. But you can use it to help yourself align stuff. To make yourself double tracks, you know. Yards, stuff like that. Because it's got the spacing. You can attach tracks to it. You just get rid of the fixed spline. You replace that with the normal track that you want to use. And boom! You've made yourself... And equally spaced uh, tracks. Though they don't really work on turns. It gets kind of skewed the more curvy it gets. But that's um, that's a side effect that you'll have to live with, unfortunately. But it is absolutely possible to have something like that to help you out. And obviously, if you have the tracks on them that you want to use, and you can just keep them in, you know. So I believe, I believe if you were to try and like bulk replace them, I don't think that would work, but I'm not sure. Actually, I think it might work. Because essentially it's just a track asset on a bridge asset, if you think about it. A track asset on a fixed track asset. And so if you bulk replace it, 
it could work. Now I really want to try this. Obviously it's catching the texture, but if you try to grab it, it's going to try uh, capture that. So let me just find, I believe this is what, um, change check oh no, change check, yeah, no, uh, change check, one food yeah that's the one so let's take this and let's try to update it with this it works but the questionality of functionality is um the question i guess i don't know Okay, yeah, that, that, that works. So this means you can pretty much just replace trucks on bridges and stuff like that. And I believe it's possible in early versions of trains as well, because I think I remember doing that once on one of my older houses that I want to forget about. But it's absolutely possible. Uh, let's see here. I suppose you could duplicate one of those multi-track assets and replace the link track asset in config with the one you're using now. I mean, yeah, that's also a possibility. Hey, don't forget about C1. That was great. <laughs> no, 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 no. I mean, even older. The very first round that I released, pretty much. Okay, anyway, so. We need to make a hill here. I kind of feel like this is going to be quite limiting. Now I could just go the older method of um, taking out the tracks and basically just doing this, like track, 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 you know, adjusting the height and whatnot and stuff like that and then just doing this to create kind of a hill side you know but that's that's very old-fashioned and very time-consuming now you can do it manually like this with painting that i'm basically doing here right now but 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 but, but i believe i have Secondary option. Let me save. Now, I have not really used this. So, I, I, I don't really have the full controls of... Um... Server 2.0. But I guess if this is a good play time to uh, figure it out, it's a good time to figure it out now. Okay, so let's see here. That does nothing. Two options. Radius. Height. Sensitivity. Great. Angle. Rotation. Scale. Intensity. Shape, circle, square, natural, oh. Ooh, okay, 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 okay. Ooh, that's a big circle. <laughs> okay. So much easier. <laughs> now, I don't want to overdo it on the sensitivity yet. Because I feel like, yeah, 20% is good to start with. 
So, okay, let's see here, like, 50%. How that's gonna behave. Oh, okay, that's very rapid. So, what are we trying to replicate this? Um, it's a hill, it flattens out, and there's a, a second hill there. So you just need to list dependencies on the bridge asset. Put a track in bulk asset update place in the work. Yes. The vocal tunnels too. Yes. And stations. Yes. Roundhouses? Yes. Need to make a hill here. Fires of volcano. <laughs> I mean it usually works on stations as is. But yeah. <laughs> or you could outsource the hill slope creation to freelancer all five. <laughs> but they would expect monetary payment. In that case I would suggest to give it to them. The train simulator on seat 2 do have options like that where you can just have a sideways grade up from the track road. Huge brush. Ooh, wow, finally. About time too. Mm hmm. Okay, so. Um, I'm gonna use a smaller brush closer to the tracks when, when I get done with this. But. Okay, placement tool. Can I, where can I, how can I add a baseboard? I'm just gonna do this. I'm gonna do 10 meter grid over there because it's further away from tracks, there's no need to be greedy at that point. Let's keep this at 20%. So there's a bit of a hill here. That kind of goes up. And it goes up quite a bit there. And flattens out on top. A little. Let's bring it up here, let's flatten it out. And then, from here, we make the other bigger hill. That climbs there. So something along the lines of this. Yeah, just about, I guess. Yeah, that, that, that's good enough. So let's paint this part here. Oh, damn it. A bit too high of a sensitivity. Need to go lower. Need to be very careful here. Um... Right down a little, thank you. Up. So this here is climbing, but very slowly, very nicely. So I'm gonna try to kind of represent that.
Wanted. Oh yeah, something like this. It's very nice. Let's uh, put this out a bit more. So glad that the Jarox are rollable. Mm -hmm. Also, it's true that all play objects are rollable in 22. Uh, not sure, I haven't tried it yet. Boss points, can you tell those too? I'm intrigued. You heard the rumor that even base person souls are <laughs> Oh okay, yep. Um before I fuck something up, let me just save. So roll up will you say? <clears throat> No, they're not. This has given me an idea. General, everything I want, but the track stays. What about the station? Oh, yeah, what about the station? What could possibly go wrong? Oh no! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, spider people, spider people. I kind of tilted. <laughs> I hate myself. <laughs> I have turned 2D, uh, sorry, I have turned 3D into 2D. If that's something that falls your boat. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Fuck you guys. <laughs> Fuck you for <laughs> wanting me to do this. <laughs> yeah, no, I just love you. Hello, Brand, welcome. What's this V business? I have not heard that rumor before. <laughs> the gravity is shifting. I see, I see someone is having fun. Yes, absolutely. This is brilliant. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay. That's a spider. <laughs> a type of spider. I don't want to ever see that image ever again in my entire life. Thank you. Do not DM me that image. Kind of lining it up here below the tracks. Just, uh, just a little bit. I'm gonna keep a gap between the actual ground and the tracks here. Just a smaller gap like this. 
Now the reason for that is so that I can later put in a spline embankment or maybe actually make a ground embankment but make it a bit better looking. It's probably manually edited kind of type of stuff. But yeah, okay, that's a <coughs> nice little hill we have here. Looks good so far. Absolutely good. Is a spider people. Oh no, okay, yeah, fair enough. Don't but yeah, don't do that ever again. <laughs> Just realize I can make eagle open URLs on stream. No, no, okay, no. You're not no, I'm not clicking on anything from now on. Fuck you. <laughs> you just single-handedly ensure that I'm never clicking a URL I see on stream again. Yeah, it's good. I like that. Absolutely. Also don't mind the north. I need a reminder of which way north is. Okay, okay, so we, we, we've got this in, in the bag. The grab bag. So after that, we have a big hill. Big hill's hell. Maybe that just a just a little. And I'm gonna spend that as well. That's gonna be a five meter grid. You can't even really see the merge between the five and ten. Which is very nice. And the only reason why I'm fucking around with the terrain here right now I need to attract it so that I can have a bit of an easier job later on. As I now have to implement Le Mountain.
obviously if I have a giant mountain in the front that blocks the entire view of the everything behind it, I don't need to worry about the terrain behind it. So I'm not going to worry about the terrain behind it. And this might not exactly be how it looks in real life. But frankly, I don't care. <laughs> I'm making it look good to my own standards, to what I want here to be. The only reason why it kind of recreated the first hill there is because I wanted to honestly just play around with the editor and tr see what I can make in uh, Surveyor 2.0. And yeah, I can make some nice stuff. But it's definitely not like something that I want to just... Uh... Recreate fully. Just do that, but yeah. It's definitely gonna be easier to recreate real things with... Having that editor. The giant brush and stuff. I think the mix of Surveyor 2.0 and Surveyor Classic is the best for this game. Because you have the simple but still powerful controls that you can use to uh, fine tune kind of the uh, areas that you want. And then you have Surveyor 2.0, which is pretty much just the power of God in my hands. <laughs> Let's um, bring down the terrain here. I've been contemplating the move to TRS-22 for quite some time. I was very skeptical and against it for quite a bit. Because I didn't really see the need for it, you know. Because I was honestly just falling out with trains, didn't really feel like working on anything. Pretty much just had the feeling that, yeah, I'm not, you know, not gonna be doing anything in it, why bother? Paying seventy dollars for something that I'm honestly not gonna be using. But now that this is here, there's actually like stuff to do, and I figure that it's gonna make my life easier to simply just get it. It's gonna help me save time as I did here with the hill. And yeah, it's just generally gonna make some aspects of uh, route building much easier. I did have a quick look on some of the routes that are included with Trains22. Um, yeah, they're, they're interesting, that's what I'm gonna say. Some of them are even nice, which I'm honestly surprised. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's um Nah they're they're good. They're relatively good. Make this 
is a bit better. Okay, now there we go. But yeah, maybe I'll be checking out some of the uh, some of those routes as well when it comes to the stream, or maybe do some sessions from them on my YouTube. But yeah, I'll see about that. It's definitely an idea. Basically doing the same that I do with Train Sim right now, just random sessions from the different routes that I have and different trains, you know. Could theoretically do stuff like that here in Trains as well. And with the content vault and stuff like that, the releases and early access and blah blah blah. It's definitely like uh, something that's been going through my mind, but I'm not sure if I'll act on it yet. Because um, I still want to figure out stuff before actually doing anything with this. Okay, anyways, um, I kind of want to take a drive through here. <coughs> I know it's not finished and stuff like that, but yeah. Sometimes you need to uh, survey what you've just built in order to be like, yeah, that's good. I can keep that, you know, stuff like that. So... Let's just... Uh, do this one, I guess. I have anything here that's usable? No, I don't. Uh, maybe on a little stuff. Uh, definitely not that. This two could be definitely nicely utilized. <laughs> some good stuff, some bad stuff. Yeah, let's say it's good enough. Interesting. Very interesting. Uh, yeah, I just figured, just realized that I might have to Come on <sighs> You're seriously gonna do this to me? Uh, 
Okay, fine. The gradient is non-existent on the white line. The fucking okay. I still need to get used to the sensitivity of the camera. Mostly interested in the gradient here. Oh, it's, uh, okay. I need to check as well. Base spider, all right, I don't know. That's also why I haven't said anything. <laughs> What's the terrain for the maximum radius? No idea. Maybe unlimited. Hello, Yanni. Welcome. Not the M eagle anything. No, absolutely not. Paradise, what the f- <laughs> You're making that, you know, for your new game? I hear it's a 70 euro you spend eagle. Yep, it's a town name too. <laughs> I'm thinking, okay. Try, 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 pull up. Yeah. The one looks like a good fit for a city boy. I mean, they are 72. Yes. <laughs> also, I wish there was a smoother rain though. That was to hide my feet the radius. Mm. Take my turn from the LS. That doesn't fit here, unfortunately. This is a uh, area for these old Soviet fucks. Ugh. In the other settings, which there was a set default passenger option. Mm. Take work in progress routes all the time. They're very useful for getting the feel of the thing you're building. Yeah, absolutely. On, on an empty map like this. I like what I'm seeing so far. Yeah, turns are definitely good. Nice and smooth. At one point in the future I'm gonna add the super elevation to them. Oh my god, I'm not gonna be used to the camera. Like, I'm moving the mouse by so little, but it just... Lies. Yes, let's let, let's have the derail, I guess. Psych. You thought? Okay, go away. Any ways? This was very nice. This is even nicer. There we go. But yeah, it's definitely shaping out to be something, something uh, hopefully great in the near future. 
let's read the chat here. Any suggest is Taurus. Unfortunately, that's not fit for this area. Does the multiple survey come with your to the base game? No. Unfortunately, no. You need trains plus, and I believe you need the gold one. No, you don't need the gold one. Silver is enough. Because uh, I have it. Sim class, it comes with the game. Well, that's um, a refund right there, I guess. Because <laughs> it does not. Or maybe it does. I'm not sure now, actually. Hold on. Because I do have technically a transaction now from the Mac App Store. <laughs> okay, fair enough. I then I guess it doesn't. I don't know. I just I just instantly go Trains Plus, but I figured that a feature like that would on would be locked behind another fucking paywall subscription. So yeah, I just didn't bother getting like the Trains Twenty Two itself. I just went for Trains Plus directly. It was just about to increase a few months back. Mm. Yeah, no. I'm really glad they added the Doppler effect to trains. Yep. It's not perfect, but it's great. Eh. The sounds in trains could definitely use a massive rework. The floop is from D&D. &D. Do this operate here too? Well, they used to. That's what I'm gonna say. They, they, they probably used to. But we didn't really see many of them. They weren't really uh, for this place. Not even for the diesel lines that much. Some more Russian stuff. The M62s. The version from it. Can't remember the number now. I like what I've seen so far. Zooms in a locomotive. <laughs> yeah, I was more referring to the gradient and how the train bends around the turns because uh, I think I've nailed the curvature. Subscribe back on sounds too. They add a lot. Oh yeah, definitely. <laughs> the sound this local makes always reminds me of the sound the monster made in the Forbidden Planet and I love it. <laughs> sure, I can see that. Oh, so you do need trains plus for the MPS. I see. Alright. for Yep. Super elevation? Yeah, that's also a thing that needs to be not too much though, because the turns are already kind of nice and smooth, so just a little bit of uh, super elevation that needs to be put in, like a degree maximum, maybe two. You know, no need to go for like five or more. Ooh, why am I tired? I'm not tired. Blah, blah, blah. <clears throat> it's a fucking fake. I'm not tired. I'm, I'm genuinely not tired. Why do I always yawn when I'm streaming trains? Or just generally. I'm not tired. Yeah, whatever. Neither am I bored. I think I've nailed the curvature. Too much curvature. Is there supervision on this route IRL? Most likely, yes. I'm not sure, honestly. I mean, I can check. It's not a problem. Um... I wonder, I think I saved that video. I did not. Now I need to find it. Bum, bum, ba -da -ba -da -ba -ba -bum. Um, open window at all, maybe. <laughs> Yawning means your brain isn't getting enough oxygen. Um, no, officer, I swear I'm not tired. The yawn was a fake, a fake, not necessarily tiredness. Open a window arrow. It's open.
but that's uh yeah okay interesting uh, okay so i'm looking at the video right now it is indeed super elevated just a little but you can see it another little literally holy fuck that this is actually quite a lot fuck okay but yeah, this also gives a good perspective on the terrain or along the tracks so as basic like in the middle of the turn here kind of thing you see we have the river over here for the the hill the, for the trees as well so this is definitely going to be uh interesting to try and recreate as a straight piece of section Okay, so that's the reason we're doing left hand. There's fucking repairs going on. Interesting. <laughs> but okay, so this... Um, it's definitely... Interesting to say the least. But you can see that what kind of terrain I'm gonna be... Uh, Working on basically just the hills with the river coming in here and there. This is the station that we're ending at so far. So yeah, it's gonna be uh, fun to um to 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 do that to get here, stuff like that. But yeah, anyways, and there's a full production on there. Yep. Great reference material, absolutely. But yeah, um, I would say that's it for today. Tried out new things in Surveyor 2.0, got the hills in, got the tracks in. Taken the first uh, test drive as well. So yeah, things are looking really good for Central Europe 2.0. So I'm definitely looking forward to actually building more of this. I'm guessing that, well, I'm gonna be playing around with it a little bit more. And off stream I'm probably gonna do the other side of the valley and try and like put the river in here as well. But I'll see when I have time for that. Or if I have time for that. But yeah. We're definitely going somewhere. And that's good. Interesting. Very nice work today. And you said you will work on this off stream too? Yep. Uh, if I if I have the time or if I feel like it, then absolutely I am going to. Yeah. Do you know if any of the other buildings have begun building their the builders have begun building their parts? No idea. I think Zefek has. Yeah, Zefek has. But so far, it's only me and Zefek that's really uh, in this. Uh, don't know about Yani if. He's going to, because we had a previous project, but that just pretty much just failed immediately anyway. So, um, <laughs> yeah, um, we, we, we will not talk about project problem on this uh, stream. So, yeah. Zephyr has started work. I'm gonna see, like, I mean, I'm guessing that... Uh, yeah, I'm guessing there's just gonna be other people joining in slowly and shortly. I know Prisoner will probably do something once he finishes his current work in progress route. Um, let me just... I mean, he does post updates of it on... Um, uh, what is it called? On Facebook? 
like some pictures from it so i'm just gonna show you guys real quick of um the work that prisoner is putting into um his stuff and he's making a real life uh route as well it's a small shorter branch line fully electrified and yeah he's yeah having fun with it making dedicated assets and uh, plopping them in stuff like that so yeah he's pretty much just one to one as it should be So just a lot of you can see the reference picture and the real life location <laughs> so yeah he's he's uh, working on his little stuff his little route but yeah if you if you want to see more of that he he keeps uh, posting regular updates on our discord and on uh Facebook as well. Some images here and there. So yeah. So line 195 in uh, southeastern Czechia, not not the southeastern, just southern Czechia on the border with Austria. It's a uh, Ribni to Lipno route, so it's a small electrify branch line. But yeah. Where was Victor on VIP chat? Yes. The really fine grid helps a lot too. Yep. The really fine grid helps a lot. Oh my god, chat, please fucking work. Jesus. But yeah. If the MPS is in the base game, may that be good for this? Uh. No, not in the current state that it is, because basically in order for you to make stuff in MPS, um, I believe, I, like, I'm not sure of the limitations completely, I think Svedar might be able to correct me on this, but I believe right now you're limited to just the uh, built-in content, but I'm not sure, maybe, maybe not, and, uh, you're also limited in what you can really, like, do. Like, you, for example, cannot save the route locally and then, you know, be like, oh, hey, I'm done with it, you know, and close down the MPS and uh, upload the route to the DLS. No, unfortunately. As far as I know, that's not a possibility yet. But, yeah. So that's mainly where this falls apart for Central Europe. Because, well, obviously we want to end MPS at one point, you know. <laughs> and while it is possible to limit who is uh, able to do what, um, I believe you can set, like, who can build, who can drive trains, who can spawn trains and stuff like that, you know. So, for example, for old Central Europe, uh, C1, this might be good. Because, you know, we can just uh, populate the uh, route with trains, make fiddly yards at the ends, and then just, you know, not actually build anything, but have basically a dedicated multiplayer server where people just drive around. <laughs> but yeah, I'm not really sure how that would work out. I'm, I haven't really tested MPS myself. I don't really know how it works, but I'm you know, just uh, dreaming about the possibilities. <laughs> but yeah, it, it would be absolutely nice if that if something like that would be possible. Maybe it is, I'm not really sure, but yeah, Sweder has been more extensively testing it with Brand as well and Mika. Uh, this, these three guys have pretty much just been in the beta testing for MPS as well, so if you want to know anything, I would ask them before, um, before me, so yeah. I haven't been in the testing, I've actually never tried MPS, so I'm only... Yeah, dreamy and going off from what I've heard so far, <laughs> so <laughs> I guess that works out. <laughs> but yeah, for, for Central Europe in current state, MPS is not an option that would be in any way um, helpful. 
this too. Oh, that's lovely. Exceptionally pictures. Yep. Love the dirt pot next to the trucks too. Yes. <laughs> really fine. Good helps a lot too. Yes, Prisoner is working on uh, that route. He wants it to be a uh, payware as well, which I obviously fucking understand. Like, the amount of work that he puts into that, I'm genuinely jealous about the quality of that. So, yeah. <laughs> the MPS doesn't support the LS assets yet, right? Yeah. So, how does saving the route work then? Is it stored on NTV server? Yes, that's the only place. I want to raise the train here. Nonsense, it should be lowered. Raise, lowered, raise, lowered, lowered. I say it should be raised, now raise it. <laughs> train is raised. You're despicable. <laughs> the MPS does seem quite fun. I wonder if you can open up all the routes with MPS or if you need to start out. Yeah, I mean... I, I don't know about that. I'm guessing that as it is right now, you need... I mean, there is a button to share the route, but I think it only allows you, like, empty. I mean... I mean, we can check one out, I guess. Sit in, count in USA. You can abandon the route, okay? Connecting multiplayer server. But yeah, see, this is a um, MPS route. I guess the guys had were very ambitious at creating a uh, new city and county. Unfortunately, it's not really possible with the limitations that um, there currently are with the MPS. But yeah, I'm guessing nothing ever actually happened with this. So that's a thingy. Let's see, maybe we'll find something. Oh, British Midlands MPS. Let's see. Maybe this one will look better. Oh yeah, that route deserves to be paper. Oh yeah, definitely. Now it's time to add bushes to my... <laughs> sitting country, sitting country. Nice to... Hey! But yeah, so... British Midlands, um, expanded, <laughs> but yeah, okay, so that's like not uh, fully loaded in baseboard yet, but yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's interesting what uh, people have been working on in the MPS land. Somebody tried to make the white cliffs of Dover and the Riviera line, but, uh, yep. NJP single board challenge. Let's see. Maybe this will be something interesting and nice. British Midlands with a CSX locomotive. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. <laughs> this is interesting. But yeah, you can see. And I can drive as well. If there were trains. Maybe there are. There's Felipe. He said on AI controls, or just uh, something, but yeah, I, I don't have the privileges to drive. <laughs> I, that brand was built. <laughs> Small little loop. Actually, maybe, hold on. Can I play? Yeah, okay, I can drive. <laughs> I just forgot how multiplayer works in the game. <laughs> but yeah, this um, absolutely works. Some people who started on the challenge but never really like finished it. That's a route, <laughs> if I've ever seen one. But yeah... 
very limited assets, but people still manage to build something that's uh, at least somewhat nice and interesting. Oh, this one's very nice. This one's even got grass. Damn. <laughs> Not finished. But they were rather nice. So yeah, up, up, yeah. This one's got terrain. This one's got just trees. But yeah, that's um, as the MPS. Water world. If the MPS adds the other support and local saving backups for the owner, it would be such a great. Yeah, absolutely. I would love to participate to someday. Just as you said that, I was adding grass to the MVR. Oh, you can. Okay. <laughs> Yep, <laughs> this sums up the trains community. It's a piece of track. Oh, okay, that's a bridge. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely brilliant. Hold on. I saw something. Trains the air test. Okay, I need to. I need to see this. <laughs> Just three steps and notice you were doing something a little more interesting. Yes, yes, we have. <laughs> what are what are out? As I said, oh man, amazing. But yeah, this is uh, something that the guys from Trains D have been working on. Them, because uh, Schwaningerland has been added as a uh, built-in route. So basically, they've been playing around with the content from there, and um, yeah, <laughs> they've been having a lot of fun. It appears. Now, unfortunately, I believe Svedar has lost some progress that he's made. Okay. So as you can see, that's uh, it's kind of weird how the loading works, and I guess that's a bugged out water there. Huh. Interesting. Because the water bugged out a little. But yeah, no, it's, it's very nice. But yeah, if you want to explore it for yourself, then... Oh my god. Yeah, just get... <laughs> get the game yourself, I guess. But yeah, anyways. Nearing the end of the stream, so yeah. Thank you for joining in today. I hope you've enjoyed. Maybe you've learned something new, saw something new. You know, stuff like that. And um, yeah, it's been a blast. And uh, yeah, thank you for watching, subscribe, follow, join us next time, um, on the next stream actually, tomorrow on Wednesday, and on Thursday I'm going to be doing something rather more um, interesting for Sheridan and uh, Kango. Uh, at least I'm hoping to do it because well, obviously I need to make sure that it actually uh, works first, but it should. But uh, yeah, either way, we hope to see you next time around as well. And uh, yeah, thank you for coming in. Have a wonderful day. 
Can I pay special super password prices? I think I don't know. This it also includes a new bear class one five three article, doesn't it? I believe so, yes. I guess I missed it, huh? Yes. Unfortunately. It wasn't only for very long. Yeah, just a little bit to show it off, but yeah, it wasn't really uh yeah. Like I said, touch double script to line. Yes. It was a lot of fun. Bye bye. Can it be a session? Okay, so that's that. Looks like you're all built to join just about any session. At least these, yeah, I'm not sure like how it really works, so yeah. Probably tomorrow. <laughs> fun! It's called the Trucker Something 2. Or, well, Something Trucker 2. Anyways, thank you for coming in. Thank you for leaving as well. And see you guys tomorrow, hopefully. Bye bye!